I'm Charlie from Reader Turned Writer, and today I wanted to do the booktube newbie tag since I am definitely a newbie to booktube. So the first question is, why did you start a booktube channel? I started my channel because my husband has a YouTube channel that he does that he really enjoys. He teaches people how to program video games online. Uh, he's he's just loved it. Now that I have kids, I'm home with them all day and I'm taking care of them. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old and I really was feeling like I needed to do something besides just be home with them, something more creative. And I've tried a few different blogs because I really enjoy reading blogs, but none of them really stuck and, and I could just tell it wasn't really what I was wanting to do. And while I was doing one of those blogs, I actually stumbled across BookTube and I was like, what is this? Because I love books. I've always loved books. I will always love books. I got kind of sucked into the booktube videos and kept watching. I got inspired to start my own booktube channel and so I guess I am doing this channel because I really want to. I, I love watching the booktube videos and I'm really excited to add to those and to add to the discussion and bring my own take on things and so yeah I'm just excited to. The next question is what are some fun or unique things Things you can bring to booktube and I think that everybody can bring something unique to booktube because everybody has different opinions on books and everybody has a different taste in books and everybody has a different life and what you read in a book depends entirely upon what has happened to you in your life and your views of the world and reading helps expand that and talking with other people about books helps expand that and so I'm excited to bring my own take. Question three is what are you most excited for with your new channel? I think I'm most excited to just be able to talk about books. I love to talk about books and what I'm reading and my poor husband. <laughs> uh, luckily he likes to read too. I'm also just excited to be part of booktube. I Watching booktube has really made me want to come into the community and start being able to comment and have discussions with people about books and I really feel that with this channel dedicated to booktube that I'll be able to do that. Number four is why do you love to read? There are a few reasons that I really love to read. I, I of course love to be immersed into a new world and taken along on these adventures that I'll never have and to learn about things that I might never encounter in my life or to learn about history and I obviously love those things but I think that the main reason I actually read is for the relationships, both with the characters in the books and for the people that I can connect with uh, who have read the same books as me. I love the characters in books. Uh, my favorite part of books is when characters are well written. There was a study that they did that showed that when you are reading a book and you're getting to know the characters in the book, the, the same things happen in your brain as when you're creating friendships in real life so your brain actually thinks that the people in the books are real and you're actually creating friendships and relationships with them. That made so much sense to me because that's how I really feel about some, some characters in the books that I love. I also really love to be able to talk to people about books and have that connection between them when I, I know that we really enjoy the same book. I think everybody likes that. Question five is what book series got you into reading? Harry Potter, and I know that this is one that a lot of people say, which I think is great because Harry Potter is obviously so good. When I was in second grade, I already liked to read, but I hadn't, I hadn't made the transition from little tiny chapter books to actual books yet, and my mom wanted me to read Harry Potter. I think the first four were out at the time, and I told her I didn't want to read it because Harry Potter's on the cover of the first one with his broom and I said that's a boy book, it has a boy on the cover and told her I refused to read it and then a little while later I went to school and they are like we're going to be reading this book out loud to you and they held it up and it's Harry Potter and I was like no! But by the time they finished reading that first day I was totally sold on Harry Potter. I went home, I told my mom I wanted to read it, I want, my goal was to finish reading it before they finished by myself before they finished reading it in school and I actually finished all four before they finished it in school because I loved them so much and I probably reread them 20 times in elementary school. I just loved the Harry Potter series and that was my gateway into books. Question number six is what questions would you 
ask your favorite booktubers. I feel like a lot of the questions I would ask them, they answer in their videos because I would ask them things about books and they do videos about books. One thing as a new booktuber that I might ask them would be to talk about were they expecting to get as big as they were. I really like some of the bigger booktubers like Haley in Bookland or Clockwork Reader and they have a lot of subscribers and a lot of views on their book on their on their videos and I just wonder when they started if they were expecting it to get that big and and just talk to them about kind of how it was starting out um, maybe just because I'm in that moment right now where I'm just starting out and I have no idea what to expect number seven is what challenges do you think will be the hardest to overcome starting a booktube channel I definitely think that finding the time to keep up on my booktube channel will be hard I like I said before, I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old, and they take up a lot of my time. I really want to be able to find time for this as a hobby and um, to make sure that I'm putting up quality videos. Question eight is, when did you start reading as a child? And I started in second grade, but I've actually been reading for as long as I can remember. My mom read to me. I remember sitting and listening to read everything from... I don't know what it's called, but it's a book about a bunny who's a vampire, <laughs> all the way to Lord of the Rings in elementary school, and she would always read to me, so I've always had a love of reading. I do think that Harry Potter really got me avidly reading, you know, the kind of reading where you're under the covers with a flashlight so that your mom doesn't know you're not asleep yet kind of reading, and uh, that was second grade. Question nine is, where do you read? I actually read the most on the couch right now. Before I had kids, I always read on my bed. It was my kind of my space. Uh, but then I uh, grew up and got married and had kids and now I spend most of my time in the living room with them um, or outside of them. So I spend most of my time reading on the couch or in a cat chair watching them play outside. And finally, number 10 is what kind of books do you like to read? I like to read out of every genre basically. There are some genres that are less interesting to me in general. Sci-fi tends to be less interesting to me, although there are some sci-fi books that I have really enjoyed and I won't say no to a sci-fi book just because it's a sci-fi book. The same thing goes for contemporary, especially YA contemporary. I'm generally not as interested in reading a YA contemporary book, but that doesn't mean that I won't. Some of my favorite genres would be fantasy, this is especially true of fairy tale retellings and princess stories. My favorite book growing up was Elle Enchanted, and it's still one of my favorites. I love Elle Enchanted. I also really enjoy historical fiction, especially if there's romance in it. I really enjoy clean romance. I am a romantic at heart, and so I really like books that have romance in them. Um, they don't even have. It doesn't even have to be at the forefront. I really love Brandon Sanderson and the way that he does romance, even though it's mostly background romance, I really enjoy the romance in his books. I also actually read a lot of nonfiction. Now that I've grown up a little bit and I have a family and kids, I tend to read a lot more nonfiction than I used to, but that's mainly what I read. I won't say no to a book if I think it's going to be really good, um, although the priority on my list might shift a little bit depending on my goals for reading at the time or my interest in reading. Sometimes I read a lot more nonfiction in a book, sometimes I read only novels. Sometimes I get in a Brandon Sanderson mood and I just reread all his books. <laughs> or same with Harry Potter, I just reread all of the Harry Potter series and that's what I do that month and so it just kind of depends on my mood. Thanks for watching if you stuck it out through the whole thing. If you want, subscribe to my channel, uh, drop a comment in the comments below and we can get to know each other. Thanks, bye!